in here yo what's going on guys david lee back modern tech philosopher bringing you everything apple versus pc related and today we got a head-to-head -head battle premiere pro which one's better on the imac or on a fully built pc i was inspired to create this video because there's a lot of people that are uh, video editors videographers who may not know which type of system that they need to go with and the main thing that I wanna share with you guys today is number one, the actual performance difference, and number two, depending on what kind of um, budget you have and also the user experience you prefer, which one you need to go with. The main punchline that um, you can take away from this entire video is really the, the price difference and what you're getting. Sure, you're getting the higher performance, um, relatively speaking, with the PC because you can pick and choose what type of CPU, memory, graphics card, hard drive you want. Um, but also for people who use Apple systems is because they love the integration with iCloud, with their photos, with um, iTunes and music. They love the experience of the Apple ecosystem. But is that really what you need when it comes down to your video editing purposes? You may be a full-time videographer, so for you, getting projects done with deadlines is crucial. Right, It's critical that you be able to render things on time, that you can export things quick, get them uploaded, put them on a USB drive, uh, whatever you need to do for your clients, your customers. If you're a YouTuber or up and coming um, YouTuber, sometimes speed can um, be your worst enemy because you have to figure in the time that you need to edit your video, the time you need to export your video, adding in any type of um, effect, titles, right, all those things. And then you have to worry about uploading the thing. So today I'm gonna to show you guys basically what you need to know if you wanna go with Apple or go with PC using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I have two systems set up for you guys. One is a late 2015 27 inch iMac. Um, it has a 3.2 gigahertz Intel i5. It's quad core, four threads. It has 32 gigs of memory and it has the AMD Radeon 390 Pro inside. Hard drive wise, it has a one terabyte fusion drive and I also have a Western Digital uh, MyBook Duo in RAID 0 simply for offloading any of the uh, video preview files in Adobe Premiere. For the PC, I have a sixth generation Intel um, Skylake processor in there. It's the i5-6600K clocked at four gigahertz. I have 32 gigs of RAM also in there. I have a couple of SSDs. Um, the one that's running Adobe Premiere Pro, all the caching are two Kingston KC300 480 gigabyte SSDs in RAID 0. For the graphics card, there is a uh, EVGA GTX 980 Ti FTW. And basically all it is, it's a factory overclocked version of the 980 Ti. The iMac I purchased for about uh, $1,400, tack on another $200 for upgrading to 32 gigs of RAM. The PC I built, um, I built that in January of 2016, minus the monitor, I spent about $2,200, $2,500 on just the components inside. Now you're saying to yourself, well, that's about a $1,000 difference. This iMac I purchased here, uh, it's actually a recertified model. That's why it costs so low. Um, so you can figure if you bought a brand new iMac, that will cost you about twenty two to $2,500. That PC I built a year ago cost about $2,500. Right now you can spec it for less, about that $1,700, $1,800 mark, but with different, um, with different components. You know, instead of the 980 Ti, you can get a GTX 1080, and also the 1080 Ti is coming out. 
Now, my experience with Premiere Pro, um, it's really been reliant upon the graphics card because if you look at the the, the CPUs, they're roughly the same, you know, they're both i5, they're both 6th gen Skylake. Uh, one is running at a little bit of higher clock speed, but not too much. They both have 32 gigs of RAM. Obviously the one in the PC I can um, spec out with like lower latency, things like that. Um, the graphics card is completely different, right? The 390 is a mobile version of the AMD Radeon and the GTX 980 Ti I have is a fully equipped um, desktop version. So the advantage, again, kind of goes to the PC because of my graphics card and also because of the two SSDs I have in RAID 0. Now, that's not to say that, you know, the iMac is completely washed away, as I'll show you guys in the rest of this video, which I'm going to try to keep as short as possible with as much information. Um, so that way you guys aren't watching like a 20 minute video, you can get the information that you need. But what you'll see is that the actual um, export time for two projects that I created are only just a few minutes apart. And that sort of depends if you're exporting in 1080p versus 4K. I did a little comparison with that exporting um, a project in 4K comparing to 1080p. So you guys can kind of see the difference if you're going that route. Cool, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's see who wins. Cool, so the first project out of the two that I'm gonna show you guys, uh, this one was shot at 1920 by 1080. Uh, 30 frames per second. This is rendered and exported from my uh, iMac, which I'm actually doing all the recording and editing on uh, right now. So as you can see, the total time it took was 18 minutes. What I'm doing right now is show you what, how long it took for the uh, for the PC. And for my PC, it took a, a little bit less time at 10 minutes and 56 seconds. Again, same thing. You can see that. Um, if you rewind a little bit, it has the same title. It's 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Uh, I was able to shave off a, a few minutes on my PC compared to my iMac. And about a eight minute difference. So again, eight minutes can be a lot for someone. Um, eight minutes can be not too bad for someone else. All right, so the next project I have, um, again, 1920 by 1080 at um, 23 frames per second this time. This is being um, rendered on my iMac first. So, you know, what you'll see with this one is it's a good comparison as far as what's realistic. So you'll see now the uh, Laguna Beach uh, project that I had, it completed in 24 minutes and 26 seconds. Again, 1920, 1080, uh, 23 frames per second. Um, overall, I mean, not too bad, you know, for the amount of time that you're spending on editing and post-production and things like that. It took 24 minutes total. Now, that same project on my PC took 17 minutes. So, you know, not too long, right? You're looking at almost like a seven-minute difference, um, you know, give or take a few seconds. So, hopefully that gives you guys somewhat of an idea of at least like common formats that you guys are using 1920 by 1080, um, 30 frames or 24 frames per second. There is an obvious difference between um, a well-equipped PC for the same price um, and even cheaper prices compared to uh, the premium that you pay for an iMac. And to keep this comparison um, a little bit more up to date, I ran that same um, project, but I switched the export to um, 4K. So 3840 by 2160 at uh, 24 frames per second, right, rounding up. Um, and as you'll see, it's actually only like a two minute difference between running 1080p and uh, 4K. So compared to 17 minutes, it took 19 minutes and 37 seconds to complete the render and the export for that same project using my custom built PC. So all in all, I mean, it's not like a huge landslide victory. If the iMac took, you know, one minute more than the PC, that would be landslide victory, right? You're looking at like the total micro numbers. It really depends, right? If you're practical with it, say, you know, an extra three minutes to render on an iMac may not be a big difference for you. That might not be enough for you to say that the PC is the all end, um, end all, be all. My final impressions and uh, verdict for the battle, definitely are you gonna go to the PC. 
The reason why, um, two things. Number one is the money that you can spend right now is gonna last you three, four, five years. You can also pick and choose what you want and what you don't want. You can go with an AMD card, you can go with an Nvidia card, you can upgrade memory over time. So you can start with 16, go to 24, 32, 64. The CPU is something that uh, you may not want to play with. You know, you may not want to overclock, and that's fine. Um, so in that regard, you know, you're looking at um, not much of a comparison. But the hard drives are another thing too. You can add in hard drives if you want. You can select what kind of SSD you want from the very beginning. Whereas with the iMac, you're pretty much stuck with um, with what you have. If money isn't a big deal to you um, at all, hopefully it is, um, because you know, for video editors, videographers, I feel like your I feel like your camera, right? This guy here is more important. Your lenses, your mics. Um, your filters, your your tripods, right? They, they add up to so much money over time. Um, so for you to like spend all this money on a nice, beautiful computer, but have, you know, a single camera that's like five years old with one or two lenses, that's not the best thing for your buck. But if for any reason that, you know, um, but you know, if, if for any reason that money isn't a huge deal for you and you've been using uh, Mac OS X for a couple years, then stick with the iMac. You know, if you have a 2015 model, you can still upgrade the memory. It's not that hard to do. If you guys want me to show you a little tutorial on how to do that, I mean, it literally takes a few seconds to do it. All you need to do is purchase the memory modules. But you're gonna be just fine. You know, an extra three, four minutes is not a huge thing. You know, if you're expecting like a 20 minute difference, then I can understand, go with the PC. But from the results you've shown, you know, these are actual um, footage that I took with my Canon uh, 80D, edited in Premiere, color correction, color grading, titles, the whole shebang. You know, it didn't take an extra 20 minutes to export a render on the iMac. You know, in, any, in anything, it was just a few minutes. Um, depending on how large the file is, and especially if you're going into 4K, then those are things that you may need to consider. So I really hope that helped you guys out in regards to what system you want to go with for your Adobe Premiere editing needs. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys currently have, what kind of setups you guys have, and also your experience. Um, if you used to use a Mac, now you're on a PC, or vice versa. Hey, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you thought it sucked, leave a thumbs down, it's all good. Uh, if you wish to see more content that I will be delivering, anything Apple versus PC related, hit that subscribe button here. Um, other than that, David Lee, Modern Tech Philosopher. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.